who is the number one ranked British player? No, it's not Emma Raducanu. You're looking at her right now. Katie Bolter, ladies and gentlemen. Now, she says grass is her favorite surface to play on. It wasn't always that way, but if you're not familiar, she literally grew up 30 minutes from Nottingham. That's right. 30 minutes from there she could what like ride a bike there and yes guys grass is now her favorite surface but she's also a pretty darn good hard player and look at her she's physical she's strong guys i, I literally just had a cup of tea some some lemon ginger tea and just watch this match here katie bolter she's strong she's physical i love her baseline game I, I would like to see her just get a little bit more dominant with that serve. But this is the type of match here where, and look, I'm familiar with Beatrice. I remember Beatrice, both of these ladies, when they were on the lower level. And Beatrice, although she wins a lot of matches, I, I see just a lot of things in her game that can go wrong. And I've said this in the past, and look, I know I'm going to get some people in the Brazilian hands. She's that one player in the top 20 that you just think, oh, you know, yes, she's the elite trophy champion, but she's that one player in the top 20. It's like, I don't know, does she belong there? I mean, I, I look, I know I hate to say that, but this is the part where I have to criticize because Beatrice, I feel she's a good mid-range player. She's, I, I love the left hand, but what is what does she do great? right the, the serve is not that great i think she makes a lot of mistakes and this is the type of matchup here where katie bolter i think she's got better stamina i think she's the more consistent baseliner when it comes to maybe about a foot inside the baseline i, I would give beatrice the edge there and that's how she won the first set katie bolter had several breakpoint opportunities in the first set it was hers for the taking but she couldn't get over the hump, and then she dropped her level. Beatrice took the first set, but here comes that stamina, right? I see Beatrice get tired a lot, and that's definitely what happened in the second set. Katie Bolter raised her level, kept the stamina, kept playing physical and solid, strong tennis from the baseline, and Beatrice's dad starts to crumble. We see it time and time again where she's playing these three-set matches and she runs out of gas. Katie Boulder takes the second set. Would she improve to eight and three on the year? Of course she would. This is a numeric lot, guys. I'm trying to throw you an alley-oop, guys. I can't spell it out for you. You're going to have to donate, like the video, show some love. 41 season last year for Katie Bolter, guys. We saw the coming out party. That's right. And Nottingham, she grew up 30 minutes from Nottingham. She gets the title there. She also won the um, Canberra ITF Championship. And she takes out Beatrice Haddad here very strong baseliner she's physical and she's someone you got to watch out for guys 41 season last year 20 losses i like that win percentage and this is her second win here in san diego she took out lesia sarenko in the first round six three six one she's playing solid tennis i mean she has some good wins on the year guys alicia parks Aston kruger she beat jessica pagula isla tom janovic katie bolter did take a very nasty spill here in the first set. She got back up and said, I'm okay. <laughs> Katie Bolter, guys, she beats Beatrice at dad. This is how she forced the third set. If you take a look here, guys, solid first serve play, solid second serve play. And look, consistent on the break points, unlike the first set, Katie Bolter wins. That's a huge underdog. We'll be back.